G'day viewers, how the devil are ya? Well today is a little bit uh, different video in that it's actually a practical one with not too much arsing around. Hope that doesn't frighten too many years off. Uh, what happened was my hot water heater at home basically split and dropped water everywhere. And as I'm selling up and about to move in a couple of months, I don't really want to put a new hot water in. So what I've done is got my uh, gas water heater that I converted by removing the gas burner. And as you can see, I stuck an oil burner in. I've just got this which is running off the car blower, which came from a Subaru, and it's being fed by a battery charger. This has got 6 and 12 volts and high and low, so it gives me four different um, levels of power on the blower. I'm running it flat out at the moment. I don't know what the oil consumption is or the heat output, but I'm just doing it so it, it basically doesn't overpower the heater. I've actually run the, uh, the heater from the garden hose and I've tapped that back into where the original water heater went. It's just the same old setup. The oil is being uh, drip fed in. I've got uh, my oil tank is up there sitting on a table and this whole glorious arrangement is sitting on the back veranda. Well, it's, uh, it's quite hillbilly, but you know, till I get another water heater, uh, just a, a used one at the right price, I can tell you this much, it's a hell of a lot better than having a cold shower. I'll take you inside and show you how I hooked it up. You might be able to still hear the burner which is just out the door there. This is uh, the laundry where the heater originally was. Haven't even cleaned it up yet. That was the overflow and the electrical and the inlet there. So all I've done is I'm just feeding from the heater output back through the original fitting. I've put a valve there obviously and that just supplies the hot water to the house where the original heater did. Uh, it's just that simple. And of course the hose runs out and back to the heater. All very simple, all very uh, redneck and hillbilly, but like I said, it's better than having a cold shower. There's another look at the, uh, the very dignified setup out on the back patio. Uh, but like it's making me hot water. It's keeping the missus very happy, which as any uh, bloke knows, that's the most important thing of all. And I suppose it's really costing me nothing as well, unlike running a normal water heater. I've got an idea of when I move, I might get a real big gas one and tap that in before the original uh, the heater. So the hot water supplies the electric heater. That way, when I get to fire the oil burner one up, it will be supplying hot warm water to the electric heater so it doesn't kick in and if for some reason I don't fire up the oil burner powered one the uh, electrical heater will work as normal so a pretty seamless setup I'll have to see what sort of uh, location I get to be able to do it anyway it wouldn't be um, one of my videos as different as this one's going to be without the safety tip and that is if you do this, don't block off that safety valve. If you look at some of the Mythbusters vids, the damn things will go off like a bomb. But then again, this could be good for those that are stupid enough to do it and help the process of natural selection along very nicely. So anyway, there you go viewers. Just a, uh, a quickie and a practical one. It's as redneck as all get out. But, you know, it's, uh, it's better than freezing your backside off in a cold shower or worse still, running around stinking because you didn't have one at all. Hope you found this somewhat interesting. Probably still give you a chuckle. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and uh, most of all share the vids around. Also have a look at what's on my other channel. I notice a lot of people only look at one video and ask about things that I've covered several times. So click on that oil burner link. Have a look at the probably 45, 43 videos I've got now and uh, see what else you can find to amuse yourself. Thanks for watching.